Hi. Okay. I'm doing a little mini marathon for everyone today. So we're going to do business. Okay. I'm just going to pull some cards and do a session on business and see where you're at with your business. Finances, jobs, you know, everything like running smoothly in that world. We need business. You, We need to know that keeps us a healthy quality of life, right? So we're going to look at that. What's going on with your business? My entrepreneurship part of my business is that I help everyone empower themselves. And I always say you need to at least have some sort of entrepreneurship skill, you know, five incomes, five streams of income is really your goal to have a healthy, you know, to have healthy finances, five streams, and that it will prevent crisis down the road when you have more than one stream. And it's okay to have a job or rather not be an entrepreneur. Not everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. That's really in your astrological chart if you're driven to be an entrepreneur. And there's really nothing you can do to change it. So some people will have a regular job where you're working for a corporation. Also, it is good to have a hobby or something where you're doing your own business, but you're, you've got your, it, it like adds to your savings or your vacation money or your Christmas money. So even if you're like, I'm not an entrepreneur, um, that's okay. Because like I said, that's just in your chart. You know, you were born with it or not. Um, but I will say that everyone needs some sort of entrepreneurship skill because you've got to present yourself to a business, right? To get a job, to negotiate business transactions of any sort, or to have that second stream of income, right? So your product is good. They're telling me your product's good. Don't estimate, underestimate yourself and there will be an offer coming to you. So this is an offer. So it, for some of you, it's a job offer. For some of you, it is a offer in a business collaboration. And for some of you, it's a offer in um, like people buying your services or products. So that's very, very good for your business, move forward with your business, get your website going. Don't, you know, it's very vulnerable. Your art and your, your skill are very vulnerable, but they're saying get your website going, head forward with that. Um, there's gonna be a contract coming toward you. You may feel a little bit like weighed down by it, but it will pay off, they're saying, okay? Make sure you're running your business on a contract basis with your employees. In no way do you have to have employees or have long-term employees. It takes years for a business to work into that make sure your employees know that they are contract based only and you can keep renewing the contract with them that is okay as well so that contract will pay you okay is what i'm getting and again like you'll be very emotional but like pull it in and be like oh, you have to act like of course i got this contract like i have many contracts right um there's a strength card it's like you're going to be a little bit overburdened okay you're going to be like a little bit overwhelmed in this keep going it's emotional that your dreams are coming true with this um keep it to yourself Keep it to yourself is what I'm hearing. Um, just keep it to yourself for whatever reason. There's a tower moment coming for you. And you're going to be offered a bigger contract. Okay. You're going to be stressed. It's going to be a huge contract. You will have to hire someone. Um, you're going to be at a crossroads with your life. Every business comes into that point where you're like, do I expand? Do I stay the same? You're going to be very much at a crossroads with that. You I, you don't really have a choice but to expand, honestly. There'll be justice around it for you. This ends a chaotic cycle for you, okay? You've outgrown the chaos that was business. You're ready for a solid, steady business. This could be a bankruptcy situation. It could be a loan, a mortgage. It could be, it goes the scale of like, good to bad in between to emotional to celebration to do redos but there's definitely an official person signing the document that will make you move forward with your business okay don't listen to opinions listen to your clients listen to your happy clients okay there's you can't make everyone happy you're not going to make everyone happy and that's okay um that is okay let's look at this rituals are important um do your rituals every morning yoga, stretching, tea, coffee, make sure that you're changing, starting changing or renewing a ritual will shift your energy. So renew that ritual and get your energy shifted. Creating safe space, okay, will let things grow. There's that space one. I just got that message on the other video about space. Um, luck is on your side with your business. You're fine. Your life is changing rapidly. Do not quit no matter what happens. 
it's up and down. You've just got to keep moving forward, okay? Um, with your business transformation, this business you're doing, it's spirit led. It's going to transform you. You know, you will. It may take, you know, a good business. It does take about three to four years to grow into. And then it takes, you know, a lot of self-confidence to put yourself out there for vulnerability, a lot of self-confidence for marketing, a lot of self-investment. But invest conservatively. Don't go in debt for your business. I'm not hearing that that's even necessary for you. Some of it, I guess it is for equipment and such. But for a majority of you, going in debt is not necessary. Don't, like, put yourself, don't compare yourself to other people's business because you don't know their whole story, okay? Do not compare yourself. That's what I'm getting. Put one foot in front of the other. Be proud of your business. If you have a job, be proud of your side business, your product, your services. Be proud of your life, okay? If you're a full-time entrepreneur, really do that with everything you got. Do that. With, and you're getting constant downloads for new business ideas, okay? So keep doing that. Keep following the downloads. And write it down. Write it down. Because even though you may not have a way to manifest it in the immediate, you will have a way to manifest it. Because remember, business is like a, a grow into, you grow into your business, okay? Um, so that's what I have for you today. Reach out for coaching on business because that would really help someone out there. Get that website going, get those business cards going. I would love to see you and give you more coaching on that. Um, the website, just hit me up and I would love to do that that your business is part of your legacy and what you're really looking for in business is to you're not thinking about even so much today right you're not thinking about anything so you are thinking about it today, but ultimately you want to leave your legacy you want to leave your legacy and you want to touch the next seven generations in your life that's really what you're growing into whether it's investment readings art writing it can be anything right but think about like you're doing this not only for you but the next generations after you and if you don't have a kid you're doing it for your nieces your nephews the people around you because you want to leave that legacy okay and that's really your big that's your purpose it's going to give you several streams of income several streams to make money and i always say you want to make sure you're making money with your heart and that you're making money joyfully, okay? And then things will come together for it. Always be proud of your business though, okay? Find out why what sets you apart in your business. Find out why, like what does set you apart? Start journaling that. Um, start doing some scripting, some automatic writing, and you're gonna be on the right path. Um, so you are gonna get a contract. Someone listening is gonna get a contract. Someone listening is going to get a partnership. Someone listening is gonna get a job. Um, you know, refinance the house, um, buy a car, do the food truck, you know, definitely do the food truck. Cooking is your passion, you know, do that. Um, like I said, there's going to be mistakes. Mistakes are fabulous, right? Just make one mistake a day or more, right? Because if you make that mistake, you're not going to do it again. And then you just, you know, find new mistakes to make, right? Um, so put one foot in front of the other and Think of how many streams of incomes you have and what do you want your quality of life to look like and concentrate on serving people and not, you know, like image or branding or marketing that has to do like social media and business really just keeps you relevant. But as far as your clientele, your clientele is going to come from your reputation and your integrity behind your business. Okay. Those are your solid paying clients. Um, my solid paying clients are not people that necessarily engage with me at all on social media, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. Social media drives your website. It drives your visibility. It keeps you relevant. But it, you will, a good, strong, stable business is based on integrity and reputation. So I hope this helped today, and I just want to interact with you more. So thank you, and namaste.